Hello and welcome to the channel. This is Meredith and today is a Saturday so I'm going to take you along with me on a weekend in my life here in New York. Um, so yesterday was my birthday so I do have a couple of plans this weekend just to meet up with friends and stuff. Not necessarily to celebrate my birthday but just because you know um, one plan is to celebrate my birthday but yeah um, a few of my friends are in the city for the weekend so i um, going to meet up with them hopefully. Um, the one bad thing is so back in the day Starbucks gave you a free drink but it was like for your birthday, but you had a couple of days to use it. Not anymore. So I should have left my house yesterday and get the Starbucks because it's gone now. So I can't get a free drink anymore, which stinks. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, I do have a free, um, what's it called? Chipotle. So I'm going to do that for lunch, I think, because I've actually been kind of craving Chipotle for a while, even though like, I don't really like Chipotle that much, but, um, yeah, so I have a free guac. And then also, since I haven't gotten Chipotle in like so long, they also gave me like 600 free points if I go. So I'm going to do that, get a free thing later um and then i think there's also like another thing oh yeah starbucks does have um an offer on my account this buy one get one so my mom is coming on monday just because not for my birthday or anything just because she wanted to come and visit um so maybe we'll go there i don't know there's so many good coffee shops in new york i don't really want to waste my coffee budget on starbucks um but i mean it is buy one get one free so anyway that's what's going on and i'll take you along with me um i do have a ticket to go pick up later today but i might not do it actually um so one of my friends wants to go to there's like a comedy show at lincoln center that's free it has some guy from snl the asian guy bowen yang or something and she like really likes she likes Saturday Night Live. I don't like Saturday Night Live. You can't tell by my face. I don't think it's very funny. I've never thought it was funny. Um, so she's like, I know this isn't your style, but do you want to go? And I said, I guess, sure. It'll get me out of the house. So anyway, that's what's going on today. So we shall see. Am um, I also trying out something new with my um, eyeshadow? Because I was cleaning my um, vanity here and I found this. It's from Face Shop. So it's a Korean brand. Um, I got it free from some conference when I was living in Korea. So it's very old. Um, but I haven't used it. And it's like pink, but it's like really subtle so I figured I would check that out and then I've also been trying out some other stuff so anyway that's what's going on and I'll talk to you later just kidding I'm gonna talk to you now sorry about this this is my desk pad that I use for my vanity um but yeah so this one is from Fat Food Fun it's like the scratch off game so I'm gonna see if I have anything and if I want anything because maybe I'll win something for fun um so Fat Food Fun did send this to me for free to be um, unboxed on my channel so these summer box I've already unboxed maybe I'll show you that in a little bit um, I've already had the unboxing but I haven't edited it yet. I have not edited it yet that's hard to say I don't think I'm gonna win do I have to make them in an order I have to read the rules <laughs> It says to match them in a row, so I don't think I'm gonna win. That one was close, three white Fs. Let's see, what's the bottom one? This is so messy, I hate scratch offs because it leaves so many silver things all around. Not an instant winner, not even a non-instant winner because it says four logos in a row. So it's kind of close here, but nope, no good. That's also why I don't gamble. So I also don't gamble because when I turned, I think it was 16, you can start gambling. I bought some scratchers from the gas station because I was like, it's something you can do when you're 16. Yeah, uh, maybe it's not 16, maybe it's 18. I don't know, whatever birthday it was. And I won like $10, but that was about it. I think I paid like $5 for the scratcher. So came out ahead, but not very well. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to go throw this away. Hopefully there's not too much solar stuff all over my bedroom now making a protein drink. It's the strawberries and cream one, the limited edition. I would not buy this again. Okay, it's like 10.45, so about an hour after I had my protein drink, but I'm a little bit hungry, so I'm gonna open these. These are the crunchy chili onion peanuts from Trader Joe's, obviously. Um, so this is kind of like that one oil thing that they have the chili onion crunch or whatever so I'm gonna pour these out into a little bowl and I'll show you what they look like. I also think this was another thing that I bought to share with my friend in Korea but then I 
put it in my pantry. I'm so sorry. My brain just like shut off. This is what they look like. So they have a little bit of some peppers on them. So I'm give it a taste. So I would say that the peanuts kind of have like a little bit of like a baked texture. Like they're not greasy and like not like they're fried, but they have a little bit of like a, not really a crunch crunch, um, but they taste a little bit more like texture wise, like they were baked. So they have a little bit of a crunch. It's not really like the fresh peanut sort of texture. Um, the chili is not very prominent and neither is the onion. So I would say this is also probably pretty good for a salad topper. So I probably should have been using this on my salads for the past week or so. It's about noon, I just ordered my Chipotle for pickup and I'll go out in about 10 minutes to pick it up, I don't know. Um, we'll see if it works well or not because I tried to do it where I paid prepaid, but I wouldn't accept my credit card. It said there's like errors processing payments at this time, so I have to pay at the location. And honestly, my particular Chipotle isn't the best Chipotle, so we're gonna see if it's actually good or not. Okay, so it's time to head out. I need to find my purse. I'm also kind of annoyed. I don't know, hopefully they'll take my QR code because I was supposed to get free guac at the Chipotle for my birthday, but when I put it in there, it took it off, but now it says I owe money for the guac, so we'll see how this goes. Heading to get my Chipotle, we'll see if I get my free guac because it didn't show up on the app. Okay, so I'm back from Chipotle. This smells absolutely horrendous, which is why I don't eat Chipotle. It smells like, oh, I don't know what it smells like, but. Um, I'll show you it, I guess. So my Chipotle is really bad and the people are also not very good who work there. So I could have just walked out without paying. But let me show you it. It's way too much food, number one, but it's also, it smells really bad. They gave way too much. So the problem with my Chipotle is number one, it's really dirty. <laughs> so it has a problem with rats. So we'll see if I get any food poisoning and rat pieces in here. Um, but yeah, it smells really bad. Um, but I did get my free guac. So I could have gotten a free meal because again, they didn't check anything, even though it said must pay on the receipt. But I'm gonna eat some of this. I also didn't order sour cream and I also didn't order tomatoes. So we'll see how this goes. I put about half of the bowl, actually no, it was like a third of the bowl into here, into this other bowl. And then I put some of the guac on top. Um, but yeah, that was way too much food. And again, I didn't order everything that was in there, so I don't know where it came from. I probably should have checked the actual inside packaging before I took it home, but I did take it home first before I read it because the outside receipt matched my order, but the inside receipt didn't match my order. This also sounded nice. So I had some um, strawberries left. I still have about six or seven left. So gonna have these for a quick dessert. I haven't played Sims in literally years, but when did they like suddenly get Korean food for what you can cook? That's weird. Like gaobiji and tokku. So as an update, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, like very low energy, so I did cancel on my friend. Um, honestly, SNL is not my thing, so that's probably what's going on. Plus, I'm having fun playing Sims, so I don't know what happened. I like up updated my thing, and now there's so many different options now. I don't know what happened, because I didn't pay any more money, because I think I bought this when it was like $4.99, um, some Black Friday in like 2018. But yeah, so, so interesting. Having a bit of a snack, just open the Siete tortilla chips. They're actually not tortilla, well, they call them tortilla chips, but they're made with like cassava flour or something. Um, and then I also have the guacamole from Chipotle, so I'm gonna have a little bit of a snack. So yet another change of plans. So obviously I changed clothes because I guess I am going to that comedy show. Um, so I canceled because I didn't want to go out. And then um, my friend's boyfriend was going to go at that time. So I didn't feel bad because I was like, okay, at least she'll have somebody else. He canceled. So now I feel bad because I had said I was going to go. So now I'm going to go. Um, yeah, the show's at 8. So she wants to meet at 6.45 because she wants to get online before then. Um, so I'm going to just eat some more. I don't really want to eat Chipotle. Well, I'm going to eat it because it's here. Um, so I'm going to eat some of the Chipotle from lunch and then head out um, and meet up with her at Lincoln Center. So that's what's going on. Also, my Sims character doing really well here. I started with 3,000 simoleon monies or whatever, and now I'm at 10,800. So doing well. On my way out now to Lincoln Center. I hope it's a Lincoln Center. I actually don't know. I should probably check. It looks like it's going to rain. Definitely raining. Didn't get in, by the way. I literally can't. There's still people in line. I like the three guys. Regular 
Okay, so I am obviously back home. I just put up my hair because it's really hot in here. Um, so luckily it was not hot outside. It was kind of rainy, but it wasn't hot luckily because that would have been miserable standing in line for so long. Um, we did not get in. My friend was really upset because I guess she's like a huge fan. And I guess this is a podcast. Um, so I like literally had no idea what it was and like all these people kept on asking what it was and they're like I'm too old to understand what it is. It's like a bunch of like 70 year old people and I was like me too um, Because yeah, I'm not even close to being the target demographic or the demographic of the fans or whatever um, It was a bunch of like 29 to 31 year old white people um, It was very much like the crowd, you know when you imagine Brooklyn um, Transplants to Brooklyn and you're like, okay, I got it the people who live like in bed like the cool part of bed you know, um, the not dangerous part of bed those type of people. There's a bunch of 29 to 31 year old like gay white males and white lesbians who were there. Um, so yeah, um, anyway, that was what it was. Um, a lot of people were like very upset and very angry that they didn't get in, but I was like, dude, this was free. Like if you want to get in, you could have camped out for like four hours before. Um, so yeah. Anyway, um, my friend was very upset as well. Um, she also did not fit in the demographic, but she kind of fits in that type of demographic in terms of her style of what she likes. Um, so like Taylor Swift or Harry Styles, I guess, something like that. Um, anyway, not my style. So, um, and also gave like, um, they were like, which one are you? And I guess there's like different groups within the fandom of like what you identify as. And I was like, oh my God, this is like giving Harry Potter vibes, which is also not my style at all. Like never been a Harry Potter fan, whatever. Um, so yeah, anyway. <laughs> Um, needless to say, I'm happy that we didn't get in because I didn't have to sit through a comedy show, um, especially a podcast comedy show because that would have been even longer, I think. Um, but we got my bubble tea in, so I like cocoa, and cocoa is actually a lot cheaper than a lot of the other bubble tea places because the cocoa bubble teas actually come with the bubble tea like included in the base price. Um, so I got my three guys, which is the pudding, boba, and the grass jelly. Um, I almost got the two ladies, which was just the pudding and the bubbles but I didn't want that one I wanted the grass jelly so anyway um so obviously I'm back home I'm going to wash my face take out my contacts and go to bed um tomorrow I am going to meet up with my friends to go mini golfing for my party and that's at swingers so when I met my friend today I was like why are you so down to go to a place that I only told you was named swingers she was like well obviously I knew that it was you so it wasn't gonna be like a swinging club and I was like yeah I guess that's true um so anyway that's what's going on um and I will talk to you in the morning It's time to leave to meet my friends for my mini golf thing at Swingers. Um, so there's a little bit of a discrepancy. So my friend texted me this morning and being like, hey, I think that it doesn't open till noon according to the internet. But then the thing is, is like when you go to the RSVP or like the reservation system, it says it opens at 11. Um, so we decided to push it back to noon just so we weren't like standing awkwardly outside. Um, so I'm going to head out now and I'll take you along with me. Swingers is right by the New Virgin Hotel. So an artichoke pizza, garlic knots, and vegan meatballs. So they're fun little tables on the side of the rose arch. I got the non-alcoholic one. Ooh. <laughs> I did a strategy. This was a rough haul. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going straight, my friend. Yeah, full eight. I 
do trust your math because you're in special math. <laughs> Need fun photo ops. So here you can take your photo and this is like one of those fancy moving ones. So you like keep moving and it'll be like a, like a gift. So you go first, second, third and like it's a group of four. So luckily we all tied, so. After fighting over the check. <laughs> okay, so I'm obviously back home. So I ended up spending a lot more of the day with my friends than I thought I was going to. Um, so one of my friends is just in town visiting, um, not for my birthday, but just corresponded with my birthday. And then two of my friends live here. So, um, so swingers highly recommend it was super fun it is a little expensive so it's 26 dollars for the nine holes um they have two different courses we honestly could not find the second course so we only played one of them and that one was the water wheel course they also have a windmill course i don't know where it was in the um, venue um it might have been in the back of the venue actually we didn't explore that much um but yeah so just so you know that it is a 21 plus venue so they do id you before you go in um and that's actually quite nice because um it just kept it a little bit more quiet it was pretty chill in there um and then they have quite a few rules and stuff so um i would highly recommend it is expensive though 26 dollars as i mentioned um the food was actually pretty good the cocktails were so good actually and they were not as expensive as i thought they were going to be because it was kind of like you know like um they kind of trapped you in there you know um but it was like still under 20 dollars per cocktail like 17 18 um and it was really fun really well themed everything like that um, but once you get to the ninth hole, so the ninth hole, um, you get a... Uh so basically you get one ball for your entire group of people, which is kind of smart because it keeps the game going around quickly. Um, and then the last hole, the ninth hole, they give you each your own ball because it goes and disappears right away. <laughs> but if you do hit a hole in one on that particular hole, they let you spin a, wa a wheel of prizes. So I told my friends about how I failed in Korea and I got a guang. Um, so um, you couldn't get a guang on that one. Actually, everything was a prize. So nobody when we were there got a hole in one actually. So I don't know how often and people spin that prize. Um, so then after that, we decided to try to go to the sample sale. Um, so today it was the frame denim and Dr. Barbara Sturm one, um, and it was the last day. So everything was additional 20% off on top of the already marked down prices. Um, but the line was super long, so we kind of gave up and we went to Bear Donut. Um, they have like milk and oat milk on tap. So I ended up getting a banana oat milk um, because that sounded good. And I also don't really like donuts or um, soft serve. My friend got the soft serve donut and she said it was really good. Um, and it was a lot more soft serve than when we went to Hukwadong for her birthday a couple weeks ago. Um, and I was like, yeah, you definitely got your money's worth for that soft serve, but it was a lot of food. So um, definitely go in sharing for a Sunday if you go in there. Um, and then I loved the oat milk, actually. It was really good. Um, I got banana, but they had plenty of other flavors as well. It was a little expensive um, for a glass of milk, but you know, it's pretty good um it was kind of like almost nitro even it had like a little bit of foam it was quite interesting watching the guy make it um and then after that we decided to um go back to her place um she lives in long island city so i haven't been to queens in a long time and i was like dang the last time i was at queensboro plaza was because when i was trying to come home from the airport um on what was it um like from thanksgiving or something there was a shooting on the bridge into manhattan so it took me like two and a half or three hours or something Something crazy to go like from the airport to Queensboro Plaza um, on the bus and I was like I got out there and I ran with my suitcase because I wanted to just get on the subway and then it took like 40 minutes waiting for the next train or something crazy it took me a long time to go home um, so anyway that was the last time I was there so 
went there um, went to her neighborhood bar that bar was actually pretty chill so it was a pretty nice like neighborhood spot and then um, went back to meet our friend in Midtown because she was coming out of a show um, so my mom had been talking about going to Aunt Juliet and I asked my friend to like give me a review about it and she was like Meredith you're gonna hate it <laughs> she was like it's a mixture of trolls and glee and I was like okay now that you say it like that um, I was like because the premise of the show sounds really good um, so it's Aunt Juliet and it's basically the imagining of Shakespeare if they wouldn't have killed themselves at the end of um, Romeo and Juliet and it's kind of like from the Juliet's perspective um, so she said yeah no it's like all 90s pop songs but they sing it in the style of Glee I said oh my gosh thank you for letting me know that's saving me a lot of money um, because it's like um, we were gonna do the lottery rush tickets or whatever and there was $47 per ticket and that's kind of expensive for basically Glee um, and so then we went to Upper West Side to Wow so I've been wanting to go there for a while um I would say it wasn't as good as the sister restaurant so they have a sister restaurant and I think I showed you that on the channel already um but the sister restaurant is down by Union Square so um Upper West Side is known for like a certain demographic and it's a very bland like in demographic and it was pretty bland um so my particular one needed a little bit more acid and a lot more salt and um i ended up adding the sambal on but that wasn't even for my food and it made it so much better um and then my friend got the wow noodles which is the famous one which it's like floating um basically we figured out how they did it and it's a very smart gimmick so um we got that and she said that was really good she ate the whole thing and then my other friend got the other thing that i was thinking about getting i can't remember it had wontons in it um she said it was pretty good um yeah anyway uh and then we were fighting over the check and then my friend was like no it's your birthday and then the waiter heard it and he brought us out some dessert he was like i heard it was your birthday i was like thanks <laughs> Um, so that dessert, um, my friend ate, um, because she was wanting dessert and we were actually going to go to Levain. Um, I'm not a dessert person, plus I was allergic to the dessert, so it had coconut on it. Um, so I tried a little bit, but then it made my tongue itchy, so I stopped. Um, it was like a coconut tiramisu, um, but we were trying to figure out the flavors because, um, the lady fingers looked green, so I was thinking that maybe they're like pandan. And then um, when I took my bite, because I was trying to eat around the coconut, I didn't do a good job because I got a couple of the shreds. Um, it was kind of like a tea flavor, and then the bottom part tasted like fruit. It was like really sugary. Um, so I was like, it tastes like everything is like a different layer or something. Anyway, so my friend said it was really good, and like our service was really good because um, they brought it out when they heard that it was my birthday. Um, so then we went to Levain, and my friends hadn't tried Levain yet, so I wanted to make sure that they tried it out. And uh, my friend thought I was joking when I said, no, they're four pound cookies. They really are like four pound cookies. She was like, I thought you just meant they were really big. I said, yeah, but they're also like dense. Um, so she really liked it. Um, I would say my recommendation. Um, so I'm not a cookie person, but I do like an occasional Levain bite. Um, but my one recommendation is to definitely get, um, they sell milk there. So definitely do that if you're gonna um, imbibe in it. Is that the wrong word? Yeah. Um, and then they also I think they have oat milk now um, but yeah definitely get something to drink with it because it's very dense um, and then the Levain um, claim to fame is um, that the cookie is like um, kind of like crunchy on the outside but really um, soft on the gooey on the inside um, so yeah definitely recommend um, they have quite a few new flavors so I think the classic ones are the chocolate chip and walnut and the double chocolate chocolate chip one I also think that the chocolate peanut butter chip one is also really good and really famous um, they did have a new one and they also had a vegan gluten-free one so the new one today I don't know if they're now doing rotations because of like I don't know gimmicks um, but they had a rocky road one which seemed kind of interesting today and then they had a couple extra ones I don't remember I should have taken a video but I was like kind of tired at that point point. Um, and then we caught up for a bit in the park and then came home um, so that's the recap of today sorry it was so long but uh, I didn't expect to be out the whole day hopefully this was kind of interesting I did get out of my house a couple of times this weekend and saw some friends and did some activities so thank you again for watching and then uh, my mom is coming tomorrow and is gonna be here until Friday so depending on what we do I 
I might do daily vlogs, but I also might just do everything at once. We'll see how much we get up to. Um, but thank you again for watching. And if you want to see what we end up doing with my mom, um, it's probably going to be a lot of food and cafe content um, and a little bit of sightseeing. Um, what we're considering doing is walking all of Manhattan. We'll see if that happens, um, but split it up over three days. So if that's interesting to you, stay tuned because um, it'll be a lot of pit stops for a cafe and beverages and stuff like that. So see you then. Bye. Thank you.